It is Krebbers. I am back with another review. Two dolls to review for one video. I'm excited. These two dolls are vintage uh, Wizard of Oz Barbies. This is the Cowardly Lion and this is the um, Tin Man. I am so excited. I am so happy that the Cowardly Lion came in so I could review two dolls for the one video and I can start my collection for the Wizard of Oz dolls. Here's what the lion looks like. It's very cute, very simple. And Tin Man. This is what the back of the box looks like. Got some scenes from the movie over here. Got the characters down here. 1999 these came out. Wow. I love the boxes so much. I really wish that they didn't have, like, I, I don't know. I just have been thinking to myself about a shelf with them so it will be easier to display them but not all clunked in boxes um and i won't have to like stack them or anything i can just pose them right next to each other with some doll stands let's get them open the boxes are very easy to open just a little and slide them out Ten is the name. I forgot. Pew, pew, pew. He is holding up the ankles. Oh, and do be mindful if you do want to buy these. Um, back in the day, we had these little plastic wire tags to unwind. So you can either do that or clip him. He's held in at the wrist. He is held in at the shoulders. Oh, the Tin Man. He's so handsome. Kind of creepy. His shoes don't stay on. Um, they are these metallic silver combat boots. and Or like construction worker boots. They just don't stay on. So I might have to rubber band them on. He's wearing a matching set with a pair of pants and this shell jacket. It is sewn onto him so there's no way to take off the jacket or his suit i mean um i do like that he is cr like chromey silver um head to toe which is very like to keep him to the character which is i think is cool uh he is holding his oil can he has a little um his heart with a little clock I think he's so handsome, but he is kind of creepy. I have I did not have him growing up, so this is new for me. And I think he's I, I'm ready. I'm excited um, to add him to the collection. I like that his head mold, his head sculpt has the uh, funnel on his head. I think the mold, everything is just so perfectly painted and sculpted and i just i i really like him he's really cool i also like the background with the yellow brick road and the the creepy forest his axe has a grommet so his hand can hold it yeah i am noticing this now um his top is sewn to the pants so it's all one giant suit which is very interesting i've never seen this um, I like him. I'm I'm very happy with him. Oh, cowardly lion time. Some cool pets. Ooh. Comes with a green Barbie brush. Comes with his crown. I love how they recreated this broken vase crown from the movie. I think it's very clever. Cowardly lion is held at the ankles. He is held in at the waist. His tail is gibbered to his hand, so be mindful. He is held in at the arm up here. One more to go. His background is the scary forest. The Tin Man was with the freaky talking trees. Oh, he, he's, he's interesting. He It's like he's wearing a giant onesie. I love how they recreated this, actually, like the lion outfit. He is... Okay, his knees do snap. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Because Tin Man has actual, like, plastic articulation. This is, like, more stiff, more of a rubber body. 
Um, I like his outfit. The little feet at the bottom are cute. It's very... I love that they're, like, brand new out of the box. So I can actually um, display them properly. I like his suit. There's a little bit of wire in the tail so you can po pose it. It's really cool. I like the fluffiness. I like how they tried to recreate the actual the lion uh, outfit. And in the movie, the the costume, the lion's costume was an actual lion's skin. And for Barbie to recreate that, I think that was a very well good, well done execution. Here's his badge of courage. It's plastic. No, it's not plastic. It's actually a fabric. I love the detail. It's so beautiful. The detail on these dolls is astonishing. I love his curly beard. Very nice. He has dying elastics in his hair. I gotta get those out. Oh gosh. I really like him. I really think I think he's cute. I love the bow on his head. I just the detail put into these dolls. Wow. What are your thoughts on the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion, you guys? I am so happy to have these two and to add them to my shelf, my upcoming shelf for the Wizard of Oz Barbies. I did not actually own these two growing up, so this review is very new to me with these two. And I just, I'm, I really, like, I love the details. I, I really, I just, for them to still be in the condition that they came out of the bot new box, but like, I, I'm, I'm really excited and I love the Wizard of Oz so much and I just had to, to collect the Barbies of, for the Wizard of Oz. I can't believe they came out in 1999. That's like the dolls. I can't believe that. That's, wow. The detail that Mattel put in for these dolls that to make them very like one to their character. There's no Velcro. There's no zippers. They are stuck in these suits and they are just very like one they're very spot on to the actual characters the uh, for the execution of these dolls like i just i i they're this the tin man's really creepy um but that's okay they're gonna be on a shelf i have a lot of creepy things in here i don't know why this is like he just what are your thoughts on the wizard of oz barbie line i'd love to know please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very very soon Mwah.